Williamson outside. Drummond grabs the miss. Oof. He tried to get spicy and totally whiffed, huh? Okay. He's going to be living this one down for at least uh, about a week. Every night, John Morant has a hard job to do. He draws the opponent's toughest defender in each game they play. That's how talented of a scorer he is. Here's Irving. Driving to the basket. As athletic as he is, Zion can be a rugged defender. He needs to stay aggressive and keep looking to block more shots. Here's Irving. Drops in the layup for two. Well, you talk about the D Moran has to face. Yet he finds a way to get the best of most of those matchups, Richard. He's got a very advanced offensive skill set. He can score off the bounce. He can spot up. Depending on who's guarding him, Ja can adapt and find any weakness. And he drops the first. In an era where so many point guards are three-point shooters, Ja Morant, you know what? This man is built different. He's more of a throwback. Ja wants to apply pressure by driving, not shooting threes. Pass to Reed. Here's Pierce. Outside Irving. Here's Morant. And it's rejected. Here's Williamson. They get it back. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Denied by Moran. Bringing it on D. Moran with the swat. That was an... Okay, let's say that was an odd play. You don't see misconnections like that too often. Almost two minutes into the first here. Here's Mitchell. Blocked! And they recover it. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. Here's Irving. Outside Morant. Pass to Drummond. And here is Irving. Rejected by Mitchell. Here's Morant. Here he goes. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. And when Morant takes off towards the basket, look, you're already done. You've already lost because that's, that's how he makes his living. Now here's Morant. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Back to Morant. On the take. Morant with the slam! And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. And Boston calls time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Pass to Drummond. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. The defense pays so much attention to Mitchell, and as a result, it opens the floor for everyone else. Here's Reed. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. And it's Morant missing. There's a minute 40 left to play in the first quarter. Now Drummond. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And they're pushing it up. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Yes, it's good. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Here's Drummond. Oh, the jam by Drummond. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. 103 left to play in the first. Pass to Chamberlain. 
It's intercepted. They've got numbers. Here's Mitchell. Knocks it down from seven feet. This is Mitchell at his best. Such an aggressive score. Always ready to shoot as soon as he catches it. Here's Moran. Moran with the slam! He'll put you on your heels in a hurry. Morant slicing through the D. Here's McClung. Sinks it from distance. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Mitchell. Man, he can't sink that one. He's two for four in the contest. Pass to Martin. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Foul beyond the arc, and he almost hit the shot. He'll go to the line for three. Clever play by Morant, sticking with his shot to ensure he gets himself fouled while in the act. And he's good on the second. And he nails the third. Here's Kidd. There's the drive. And that one is hammered home. Beautiful play design. Anytime you get a dunk off an inbounds play, you know your strategy is on point. Nice execution on the inbound. Just how you want to draw it up. Oh, it's blocked by Williamson. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. Well, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. For those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge too. Here's Kid. Pass to Reed. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the free throw, no good. On the wing, Mitchell. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. It's hauled in by Kobe. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the plate and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Tatum from long range. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Tatum's got his first three points of the game. Well, you have to be impressed with the constant growth we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He's put in a lot of work to become an all-star player. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It'll be on Zion Williamson. And at this point for Brown, do you think he's realized his full potential, Richard? No, I don't even think so, especially when you look at his work ethic. He puts in so much time that I think he can reach another level. He's still young and eager to learn. If I were to put it in 2K terms, I think he could get up to about a 94-95 overall. From deep, Morant. Williams grabs the board. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. You'd love to see Zion develop his passing game even more, but credit to him for spotting the wide-open man. Pass to Tatum. With the drive. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. Mercy, Jason Tatum is a bad man. And Boston calls time here. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first-team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade.
And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum, his advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. The son of an NBA player, Jaron Jackson Jr., I actually played a bit with his dad, Jaron Sr., in Orlando back in the early 2000s, which means I'm old. And the Jacksons, just the latest father-son NBA duo. Lots of great ones there, Greg. So true, B.A. The Curry family might be the best ever. The Berries, including our own colleague Brent. The Thompsons with Clay in the league currently. Just some incredible NBA families to admire. Offensive rebound. Adebayo. Jackson gets the bucket. This is how dangerous Jackson can be when he's committed to rebounding. Here's Morant. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Now here's Moran. Pass to Chamberlain. Back to Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Okay, I see you, Josh, flexing a little bit of muscle, showing off that athletic ability. Okay. Kicks it out to Jackson. And Jackson gets double teamed. Here's Young. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. Rejected by Brown. Terrific anticipation by Brown, managing to see the shot coming and get ahead of it. Now here's Moran. He has six. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Pass to Pierce. Brown with the steal. Drives to the oh, oh my goodness! Wow. Did you see that? Bring it out the hammer! Now that's how you finish. Showing off his pure athleticism. Brown with a memorable finish. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Outside Morant. Second chance shot. And the basket is good. Morant's got six in the quarter. He gets a lot of defensive attention, but Morant, he can expect this type of rough scene anytime he takes it inside. Out of bio, that's good. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you gotta stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. A unique talent. Ja Moran has taken the NBA by storm. Grant, does Ja remind you of anyone? Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet each explosive athlete's at the one position. Both Ja and Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. Now here's Jordan. Here's Moran. Denied by Adebayo. What a menacing swat by Bam, letting them know there are no easy shots when he's around. And guys, this is why coaches value playing with pace. They've been able to attack the defense before they get set, really making the most of their fast break opportunities. There was a time you could get yelled at for taking a three like that, but now it's a great decision and it paid off. From deep, Moran. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Up by 12. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Irving attacking. That shot is off. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. 
And the jam by Brown. The team first mindset of Jackson willing to get the ball to his open guys. Reed. Here's Pierce. Pass to Drummond. Six to shoot. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. Here's Morant. Come get it, come get it. Morant with the slam! He'll put you on your heels in a hurry. Morant slicing through the D. Stolen by Drummond. Shot up, shot up. Jumps up. Pass to Moran. Clock at six. Out of bio with the rejection. Here's Rice. Back to out of bio. Here's Young. Jackson with it. Drummond grabs the miss. Pass to Pierce. Now here's Irving. Tries to break his ice. And Irving powers it home. A true wizard with the ball. Irving has some of the best handles that we have ever seen at any point in time in history. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Now here's Moran. He's got 12. Shoots from the line. And that one's long. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know Kyrie really does have some of the best handles in the league, which is why he is so devastating in a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's something you got to watch out for. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, bro. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do, finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Here's Drummond. Tatum with some nice D. That's tip. Drummond with the ball. Picked up by Tatum. Here's Irving. Got a hand on it. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to Tatum. Count it. Good. Tatum's got nine points. Once Tatum's around the contact, it's over. A little room, just a little, is all that's needed for him to score. And Boston calls time here. And few players are as electric as Zion. The speed and power he plays with, something you see once every few decades. Here's McClung. Counted from distance. Six points for him. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. And he's able to get it back. Here's Mitchell. Abdul-Jabbar. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. Pass to McClung. Morant with it. Martin picks him up. Ball's going up the court. He stops. He pops. Williamson misses. And the blend of speed and power, as you said, Grant, Zion is unmatched. He's a rhino with a jetpack. And on defense, when you see him coming in the open floor, you don't want to get in his way. The explosiveness in the paint is really what makes him so efficient. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. What I love about Morant is that he understands his strengths on offense, which is why he is so efficient. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Mitchell. Hey. 
poke loose. Fifty seconds left in the third quarter. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. To the middle. Abdul-Jabbar. Good work defensively by Drummond. Outside Tatum. Outside Mitchell. Steps back and shoots. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Mitchell's got eight points. Nice touch on Mitchell's mid-range J. He gives it just enough to sink the shot. And here's Morant outside. Abdul-Jabbar with a rebound. With the teardrop. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. He has six. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Irving for three. And the three-pointer goes. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Up by 12. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And here's Mitchell from 18 feet away. Nice touch on the bank shot. Possessing a shoot-first mentality, Mitchell's assertiveness on offense is what makes him so dangerous. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Pierce gets the bucket. If they're going to want to close the gap, they're going to need to start running more sets through him. Let your stars lead the way. Come on. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. There's one for the low light. I'm not sure who messed up the pass, but look, somebody did. Right side, Moran. Inside, inside. Outside, Peyton. He takes it in. Good, and the setup by Moran. And that's exactly how you attack length. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Really putting the bigger defender on his heels. I love seeing aggressive finishes like that. Outside for Moran. Outside Tatum. Offline from the high post. This gives him an opportunity to get within 10. Back to Martin. And it's Moran off the drive. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. I don't know, but it seems like Morant's got springs or something in his shoes. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's his first foul. Here's Mitchell. Oh, Drummond with the block. Pass to Kid. Oh, misses the dunk. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Left side, Moran. Outside for Mitchell. Shot clock at three. Down low. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Outside Tatum. To stop the drought. Snatched away. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And then Bryant with the dunk. 
The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? The thing they have to watch for is mental fatigue. They have to stay focused and finish the job. Here's Moran. And then Moran with the jam! Is that an answer or what? He just one-upped him real good. <laughs> Those two relish going at each other, don't they? Reed. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Boston? And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the line. They got the rebound. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Morant's gotten four this quarter. And Boston calls time here. They trail by five. We've got a minute 48 left in the final quarter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Steven Silas as he talked with the team. He told the squad, run when you have the chance. We can't score all of our points in the half court. Push the rock. Let's see if they listen to coach. Back to you. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Pass to Irving. And he makes it on the layup. The right guy to go to in this situation. Kyrie Irving has so many tricks in his bag that will help him find the shot that he needs. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Back to Moran. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. And that one's good. One of the most dynamic passers to enter this league in a while on the ramp. This man is in full control of the offense. And that one misses. Austin on offense. They're on a 15-6 run. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. Left side, Moran. Out to the wing. Shot clock at six. Pass to Reed. And here's Drummond. Wing shot on the way. And there's the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's Reed. Now here's Irving. Hounded by Tatum. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. That's fine. You love the effort. Not making things easy for the opposition on offense. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And he's able to hit the second one. And that increases the lead to six. And right here, they can't waste any time. It needs to be a quick shot, then a quick foul. Yes! Yeah, such a creative playmaker. Love seeing Irving find the open teammate and make the right pass. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. And that puts him up five. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Drummond. He connects! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to draw Drummond as my assignment inside. You body him up, hack him, it still has no effect on him. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that gives him a four-point cushion. And Boston calls time here. They're down by four. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what's your take? And they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. Yeah, no time to waste. They basically have to execute things perfectly from here on out. Back to Moran. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Yeah, coach has to love that it's Tatum at the line. He's such a clutch performer. 
and looking to even the score with a huge three. That's their only option. They have to get a good look from deep here. Pass to Pierce. On the wing, Irving. Second chance effort. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. With the late victory, they upset plenty.